Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and today I've got a really cool trick on how to create a spotlight. So we've got our cool little guy in front of us, we're going to make him appear under a spotlight as if he's sitting under a spotlight, maybe ready to perform on a stage, a theatre etc. But let's go, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So what you're going to do is um, load up your scene. And you just want to come over here into your scene tab and we're going to just get rid of all the lights in the scene. So uh, if we just start by one by one clicking them out and we'll just remove all the lighting. And um, you know, already looking pretty cool. I'll just get my character a little bit more over on the chair. Perfect. This looks brilliant already guys. So once we've taken out the lights, we'll go to our visual tab and uh, we'll just turn off the IBL lighting. Now that will give us complete darkness as you can see here. Now what we want to do is simply go up to here create and then create a light and we just want to create one quick spotlight and we'll just drag that over to us. Okay brilliant and we'll just position that on top of our character until we just get that nice looking Nice looking spotlight feel. So it's not directly on top of him. We want that right over him. And we just want to rotate that. If it lets me. If that ever happens, guys, sometimes you just have to um, tap on the E button on the keyboard and that will fix that for you. But we'll just position that perfectly just so we can really, really get the proper look of a spotlight. So about there looks cool. Right, so that's step one. We've got our we've got our light positioned over our character. Let me just take that a little bit more up and we'll just make that a little bit more powerful. And we'll just play with the range. So we'll just get that there. Right, perfect. So now what you're going to want to do is with your light selected, you want to come into the modifier tab and that will have your kind of light here. And we just want to scroll down and go to this little section. Now this is the new feature with iClone 8 and it's not in iClone 7. Um, and this feature here is amazing guys because once we click it on, you see the little faint glow that just came around the character. Now, if we just go down here and mess around with the medium density, we can start to really create that real spotlight feeling, guys. And as you can see, it's starting to look really like a spotlight. And, you know, you just want to mess around with all these little buttons here until you're kind of happy with that. Um, if we just play around with this, this will... Not this, sorry. But there you have it guys, that is quickly how you can create a spotlight. Now if we just turn this light off here, we'll start to see just exactly how that looks. Now if we wanted a little bit more light on the character, of course we could just create a quick point light. And you know, we just want that to brighten up the character and not, not get rid of that spotlight feeling. So we really want to take that right the way down you know, that's not going to be too heavy at all. You just want it really just to kind of uh, help add a little pop. To the character. So if we hide that, you've now got this amazing spotlight effect on your character. So really hope that helped guys. That's the quick way to create a kind of spotlight in your scene and get it looking really cool. And you know, you can do, you can do some things like, um, you know, mess around with the color of the spotlight. We can make that a little bit more uh, white, really give it that bright feel. And you know, you've got this really cool spotlight scene. So I hope that helps guys and you know really hope that helps you to get creative and 
not look as miserable as this fella. <laughs> See you again soon for another tutorial.